Here's the other thing. We have record gun sales. Record gun sales. And by record, I mean the gun sales in the past two years. And this year is already higher than it was last year. And last year was the highest in American history. And, and by American history, I mean the highest since it's ever been measured through the NIC system. A record number of background checks, a record number of legal firearm purchases. Record number of new firearm owners. But we do not have the crime rate to match. What we have is a judicial problem. For instance, in St. Louis, when people were rioting and assaulting and shooting people, Kim Garner let everyone out. In Portland, I had this headline just the other day. People who were involved in setting fire to a federal courthouse, every single one released. No charges. But if you were standing at a food truck so much as by the Capitol when January 6th happened, if you went to what you thought was going to be a peaceful protest and you weren't even taking part when a bunch of people, when some people decided to go and engage in unprotected speech, then you would even be visited by the FBI. It's just this year alone, we've had over 16 million background checks over the last four months. We already now, with background checks, and actually that number's from May, with background checks and everything else, it's an over 30, it's almost 35% increase from 2020. Now, I want you also to remember, too, one singular background check does not mean that it's only one singular firearm that is purchased. I myself, ladies and gentlemen, because I have a thing with buying in threes, not everything, but guns particularly. And when you go and you get a background check, you can purchase as many firearms as you would like with one singular background check. So that's not an actual fair measure of number of firearms sold. We do not have we do not have the crime rate to match. So Jen Psaki's, to circle back, Jen Psaki's argument here that this is somehow at all related, it's because, oh, we have to have a discussion about gun violence. Well, it's not gun violence per se that is the problem. It is the violence that is perpetuated by repeat offenders who have been indulged by the state and the judicial rot within and the absence of a deterrent that ladies and gentlemen is the problem that we have in the united states because were it a firearm problem i will have you know that in all of these states where you have seen the spike in this sort of activity whether it is chicago whether it is philadelphia whether it is new york which has some of the strictest firearm laws in the country by the way whether it is in los angeles you also have the highest recidivism rates in the United States and all of these cities are at the bottom when it comes to prosecution rate for felony firearm crimes. And by felony firearm crimes, this gets down to repeat offenders engaged in a criminal activity while in felony possession of a firearm due to their ineligibility status. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what is driving the crime rate. It is not a gun violence rate. It is an indulgent of the criminal, the repeat offender by the state that would like to use that crime and subject law-abiding innocent Americans to the penalty. And that, to correct Jen Psaki, that is the problem. And the state's part of it because in all of those cities, ladies and gentlemen, who, who are the people that are control those cities? Ken, let me ask you, who runs St. Louis? What party? Oh, that's, man, that's mostly Democrat now. Oh, shocking. Who runs Los Angeles? What party? Democrats. Uh, Kane, what about New York, dear Ooh. sir? Will you tell us who is it that runs New man, York I City? I hate giving the same answer for everything, but Democrats. And one final time, dear sir. Who is it that runs the city? Which party of Philadelphia? I know I sound like a broken record, but it's Democrats. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. There seems to be a common denominator here, and none of it is law-abiding Americans who are in legal possession of a perfectly legal inanimate object. Wow. Hmm.